Hi, tea lovers. Today we're tasting China Golden Gunpowder. This is a great value tea, as it's at a pretty good price point for how delicious it is. Now, gunpowder, I know people love to think this is some reference to the caffeine level, but it really has to do with its shaping. Back in the old days, it was put in a wok and then stirred with a circular motion. And as the heat and moisture, the moisture evaporated out, the leaves would curl up on themselves, becoming like old world gunpowder pellets. Um, this is now done mostly in the machine. This is a better cut than most. As you can see, the little touches of gold in there, indicative of being high on the plant for its plucking. And then you can see by how little sediment there is that it's really full pieces that have been treated and plucked with care. This tea is out of the Yunnan region, which is probably my personal favorite terroir for growing black teas. And this particular version is a hybrid between the Asamica variety as well as the Camellia sinensis. Asamica is known for being a little higher in caffeine and having this big, bold, malty flavor where most teas grown in most places are the Camellia sinensis version, which have can be a lot more dynamic based on where they're grown. You can see the beautiful golden amber color on this. Mm, soft milk chocolate kind of aroma coming off of it. It's malty, but softly. This really does give you the best of both worlds between the Asamica and the Sinensis varieties. The Asamica gives it this big maltiness that greets you up front. But if you're used to drinking a Sam, you know, they can be quite astringent. This is not. It's very soft all the way through. It doesn't just keep hammering your tongue with that flavor. It has this soft, sweet linger. Um, yeah, I don't know quite how to describe the sweetness. It's maybe like honeyed squash. builds as you sip it. Um, it really has a, this nice transition from the bold maltiness up front to the soft supple linger. It drinks really well. It is really one of my favorite value teas. I think most of us would be very hard pressed to find as good of a tasting tea at this price point and it's one of my go-to for recommendations because of that. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.